Hi, I'm here with Joe from KVA Stainless, and uh, uh, they make tubing, uh, beautiful tubing. So Joe, t tell us about your company, what do you do? Uh, basically, we're a technology company that was founded uh, you know, about a little less than 10 years ago uh, on some ideas that my grandfather had to use a material that's been around for a, almost a century for structural applications where it's typically used in cutlery, ball bearings, high wear, high strength applications, but because of its weldability, it was uh, never used in any structural applications. So uh, we've come up with this patented process to uh, keep the weld seam homogenous when we do a, uh, a welded tube. And this is how all of our tubing starts out. It's, it's, a, it's got a seam weld, it's continuously TIG welded out of flat strip stock and uh, all sourced domestically in, in the United States. And uh, you know, we produce this right in San Diego uh, mm -hmm. into the tubular form. And our process really allows this to go straight into the manufacturing steps, the, the budding, the drawing, the tapering, uh, bending, things like that. Uh -huh. uh, we have a, a rich history in the automotive industry. Uh, my grandfather had 50 years of experience in the heating, heat treating industry and that's why he had so much exposure to this material. Mm -hmm. um, you know, seeing this, he, he uh, founded a company in 1953 and quickly grew it to be one of the uh, most profitable heat treating companies in the world wow. uh, back then and it's still in, in the works today. Right. You know, but we, uh, we take that and we go straight into the products and we can do it in fewer steps uh, with a more affordable material than our competitors and that's what we can pass on to our customers. We don't have to have the high prices with the low availability. This is a very common material. Mm -hmm. So here we have our, uh, this is a, one of our main tubes, a 31.8 uh, down tube in the full polish condition. This is something that we'll be offering our customers and uh, basically as like kind of a service. It, polishing can be pretty tedious, uh -huh. but uh, it's, it's something that we'd like to offer. Some people just figure they do it better themselves. Right. But uh, you know, for the guys that don't want to put in the elbow work or if they don't have the great machines, uh, our product has ultimate tensile strengths around 200 KSI in the ultimate uh, you know, hardness, the highest level of hardness. But one of the beauties of our material is it's an air hardenable material. Unlike our competitors using precipitation hardenable, which means they have to age it, uh, ours goes through a quick heat treat cycle which keeps dimensional stability and doesn't tend to banana the tubes as much so we don't have to do so much post weld or post heat treat straightening. And uh, you know, so we can develop products a lot faster. I, I've really tried to put a a high priority on, on listening to the builders. And right. if you talk to Drew at Engine Cycles and Sam, I work so closely with these guys and, and everyone. It's not just the, the big, you know, players, you know, it's, it's everyone. I, right. You know, give me a call and we're willing to listen to everyone. Right. But uh, if you uh, guys get the chance, stop by Sam's bike or even check it out online. Uh -huh. This is the fork blade we're developing with him and uh, it's going to be offered in round, uh, track shape, or oval. We just haven't gotten too far into it. So he's literally got the first fork ever made out of our material. Wow. But this was developed for forks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're getting into the testing and should be releasing that in probably about a month. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's beautiful about this is this is going to double for mountain bikes. Wow. This is going to be a heavier duty chain stay for the mountain bikes. Right. And that's what I've been working on with Drew, is mm -hmm. S-bent oval shaped chain stays. Right. And that's got people buzzing. Right. It's, it's really a, a heavy duty, it's going to be bent, uh, you know, and hopefully that will come out around the same time as right. the forks. So, so when, for a customer, when do they go KVA stainless or, or, a, or a builder, what is that tipping point where they say, I want that material as opposed to another material. Is it just the look or is, are they looking for other properties? I think they're, they're looking for a few things. They're looking for, you know, stainless is one. Uh, we're really trying to expand the stainless market mm -hmm. with our price points and availability. I think uh, it's kind of been, I don't know, put on a pedestal <laughs> mm -hmm. for, for a while as like something that's even is better than titanium. It's very comparable to titanium. I think it's better, but I'm a little bit biased. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's, it's a material that, like I said, is very available for us and we make our own starting stock so we don't have all this lead time, uh -huh. you know. 
uh, we'll call them stainless X, you know, can, I've heard of lead times up to, to 16 weeks and people waiting as long as nine months for a tube set. Right. You know, that's just not, not possible. We have our, uh, our line card and everything that's on here is available next right. day, wow. you know, and, and there's things that are in the works. I don't put fork blades on here because they're not available right. yet. But if you call me up and ask me, hey, I'm looking for this. Right. Uh, there's a, a good chance that I can either get it done or, you know, uh, I might have it already. So, right. so for, as far as bikes that are completed at the show, we have uh, engine. We, engines, uh, Sam at Naked. Naked. Uh, uh -huh. uh, winter bicycles. Uh, there's a new builder, uh, Corey Rosine, who's got uh -huh. a beautiful all stainless mountain bike, single, single right. speed, and it's got stainless forks on it. Those were kind of prototype, but uh, I, I don't see any reason why it, right. it should last. It's, right. it's going to be his brother's bike. Right. So, and he said uh, his brother hadn't seen anything that he had worked on yet until yesterday. Wow. And he saw it for the first time, and he said his brother started to shed a little bit of a tear oh when he saw God. it. So I go ahead and this. check it out. Um, the guys at Shamrock are using some of our stuff in a right. mixture with 953. Uh, the uh, who else? So basically, the big names, showstopper bikes. Uh, Ellis cycles. Ellis. Uh, he's got some chainstays, but yes, uh, that's one know. of our favorites from yesterday. Yeah, he's got the polished uh, chainstays on a uh, a red frame. Right. Uh, it's more of a touring right. style. But yeah. So a lot of the beautiful. a lot of the uh, show winners basically have stainless stainless accents, and uh, thanks to these guys. Yeah. All right. Right. And we so, have a uh, oh. a stainless frame in our booth done by Engine Cycles as well. TIG welded 29er. Uh, combination of some nice, nice brass uh, brazons there. Wow! But great Completely stop by. <laughs> Thank you.